Welcome back everybody to another episode of Try New Things where today we're finally going to get started on putting in the uh, the catch basin and the drainage pipe uh, to bring drainage to this back corner of the barn. Uh, before I get started with that uh, I do have to cut the bank back a little bit uh, to give myself some room to get the tractor in there. So that's where we're going to start today. Don't go anywhere, stay put and uh, let's start putting this drain in. Well, we're certainly starting to make some good progress here. Uh, in a second, I'll show you behind me. I've leveled off an area and widened it a little bit so I get my tractor in there. I am going to take the backhoe, cut into the bank just a little bit more, and then it'll be time to start determining where we're going to set that catch basin. So there you go, folks. You can see we wind it out quite a bit. It's fairly level. I'm going to cut into the bank, like I said, just a little bit more on the left side of your screen or the left side of the cut. Uh, and then uh, we'll dig out the catch basin out of the garage and start determining where we're going to put it. Catch basin I ordered is from Standard Pack. We'll open it up, take a look. It's got a stainless steel grid. For the lid, stainless steel basket to catch debris, and the rest of it is ABS plastic. So it's 18 inch square, like I was mentioning, all stainless components uh, from the, uh, the trap, the basket, to the grate. This is designed so that you can remove this and uh, take out the leaves and uh, the little sticks and stuff that get caught. 
um, in the catch basin so it won't clog up your pipes. It's also designed for multiple different size cutouts uh, for pipe. I'm going to go with 6 inch. I know it's a little bit overkill. 4 would do fine. I'm also going with schedule 35. Um, I just didn't feel like going with a corrugated pipe because it's going to be running directly under my rear driveway. Uh, right across in front of where the back door is going to be. So given the fact that it's going to be uh, driven over quite a bit, I wanted to go with something a little bit uh, a little bit more solid. everybody uh, this is a progress update to the installation of the uh, catch basin and drainage pipe you probably can't really see it over my shoulder how hard it's raining but if I'm quiet for a second you may be able to hear it so that's the rain on the tin roof of the pole barn and uh, I snuck out here uh, one night after supper uh, during the week and did get some progress done didn't have the foresight to bring my camera but I did get the catch basin set and started the piping and I'll show you that in a second. But I also started doing the trenching, but I didn't finish it. So what happens when you make half a trench? You end up with half a, half a moat, apparently, when it rains really hard. So when it gets done raining, hopefully later today, I'll be able to go out there and finish the trench and drain the water that I'm now holding back. But uh, let me grab the camera here and and show you where we're at. So as far as the progress that was made part, uh, that black rectangle you can see there in the ground is my catch basin. And yes, it is a high point because I didn't get a chance to backfill and put in my topsoil, etc. But it will be the low point when I'm done. From there, you can see the piping that I started to install. The one coming towards us is going to be the eventual drain and the one going to the left uh, that picks up the downspout from the back side of the barn. So that's the progress piece. The setback piece would be, this is the weekend, it's Saturday morning, as a weekend farmer. This is when you get the most done. But it is raining and it has rained hard all night. I think we got about an inch of rain. And so I started a trench, but not at the low end, working my way up, but at the high end, working my way down. And as a result, what I've created is a moat. So what I've got to do is complete this trench, uh, at least until it breaks out the side of the hillside, and that'll be able to drain all this water. But this is going to be a super sloppy mess. Uh, I'm going to wait a little bit and let it hopefully stop raining before I start that. But uh, stay tuned. We'll show you how that goes.
Well folks, given how sloshy and muddy it is out there today, uh, I think we're gonna call this quits on this episode. We'll wrap it up here and uh, call it part one of the catch basin and drain installation video. Uh, we'll pick it up when the weather warms up or dries out a little bit. Uh, right now I'm just tearing everything up with the tractor. So thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Please take the time to hit like. And uh, as always, hit subscribe if you haven't already so you can be notified of when my next videos are going to be coming out. Until next time, thanks again. Bye-bye.